what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and the day has finally come where i am going to be doing a walkthrough on the 135 so i'm gonna be going through basically all the mods um any ins is out engine mods anything that is on the 135 and maybe i'll touch up a little bit on future plans um but yeah let's get right to it But yes, without further ado, this is my 2008 BMW 135i 1M clone. I purchased this vehicle a little over a year ago, um, and it was actually a California car. Um, the main thing that caught my car for um, this project was that, yes, it is the N54, but it is also DCT swap. So that was something that really caught my eye, and I said, you know, I think... You know, I've owned a 135 before. It was a six-speed manual, um, but it was just like, okay, you know, six-speed, cool. Um, and I figured DCT was different. Uh, nowhere, you know, that I searched around on the East Coast, I could find, you know, anything worth me saying, hey, you know, I think I'm gonna use this this car for the swap or, um, excuse me, for the 1M clone. So where where can I begin? So I'm gonna go ahead and start off by saying. Um, this is wrap this is tazanite blue by vinyl frog i thought it was a very oem color and also very unique on these one series because everybody does black everybody does a very you know bright color but nobody decides to do anything oem plus so the next thing i want to touch up the wheels it is sitting on they are a set of apex um rc8 wheels these are in 18 by 10 by with an uh, offset of 25 all around um i sold this spec from another clone and i thought that you know they were the perfect spec not too aggressive nothing crazy um i am running a front sp a little spacer in the front due to the you know suspension it is on which i will touch here shortly um but essentially it's on 265 35 in the front and 265 40 in the rear okay so wheels wrap next i am going to touch bases on what suspension i am on and this has you know there, there's been a little bit of you know people criticize you know oh why would you go with the suspension you know you should have done uh lowering springs or you should have kept it stock or blah 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 whatever um but yes my 135 1m clone is sitting on airlift performance setup um i think this is this is my first time having uh any car bag and i think this was the best decision i did take my car over to the pocono raceway for impact this past year um and it was amazing um you know 140 that i've done and it performs amazing i can't complain but like i said the vehicle is on airlift performance and i think this is just absolutely perfect and the front end i'll touch you know bases with what's done essentially yes it is the oem front end for the 1M, I am running a Eurospec headlights. The only difference from the Eurospec to the regular 135 headlights is that you don't have the orange side markers. I did not want the orange side markers. I feel like it really takes away from the simple slick look. Um, and I really liked it with the chrome grills that I added. I had a good friend of mine, um, you know, make this headlight for me with the air duct. Um, I did run, you know, regular, you know, dual cone intakes on this side. I relocated my intakes just for this headlight um and for another reason that i'll be touching before we end the video but yes you guys could basically guess it why but anyways that's pretty much it that's done i will be getting a front lip later in the future not yet i think it looks fine the way it is no reason for me to waste you know another 400 500 dollars on a new front lip that probably won't last very long I am running in the rear your black line tail lights. I think it's a lot more slick, more aggressive for the rear end on this vehicle since they are so wide from behind. Um, I think it's just a perfect look. Even if you don't owe a 1M, just a regular 135, these headlights are the way to go. Um, I am running a Cybin carbon trunk. This came with the car. I did not purchase this myself. Um, do I want to get rid of it? Not quite. Uh, would I? Don't think so. 
but I do want to purchase another OEM trunk that I can, you know, drill some holes, maybe add um, a GTS uh, wing on it just because I had it on my E90 M3. I thought it looked, you know, pretty sick. So we'll see. Um, it's not really a priority. It's just one of those crazy thoughts in, in the middle of the night that you're like, hey, why not, you know? Um, but yeah, exhaust. It's a custom exhaust setup. It is not the OEM 1M exhaust setup. It is a uh, full straight pipe. Mid pipe is with two vibrant resonators and no muffler on the rear. Um, and that's pretty much it. And I still think it sounds pretty good. I am running ECS tuning two piece rotors in the front on my 135. This also came with the vehicle, which was another big reason, you know, little simple mods that really made me say, hey, this is worth the money on these 135s. For the interior, I am running a E9X DCT cluster. In my one of my last videos, you guys saw me install it. It was by Cluster uh, Clusters Encoding on Instagram. He hooked it up. Uh, the rev limiter do, does work. You can program it to different RPMs. It's pretty amazing. Um, I am running a flat bottom uh, steering wheel. I think it's very simple yet you know makes it stand out a lot more than just our oem steering wheel and yes i am running brahm seats um were they my first choice no but i did want something different if you notice these seats are originally black i did color dye them unfortunately due to the fact that they are not real leather the dye did not you know stick very well i did dye uh, the leather in my F80 M3 and I, I could you know easily say they're the probably the best thing I had ever done on my F80 M3 uh, mod wise the the dye did not rub off it stuck very well but like I said unfortunately with this Brahm seats these are you know like fake leather synthetic leather so they don't really stick very well you know I mean they've lasted but you can definitely tell there are some black patches um, wherever I sit does it come off on my clothes it does not but um, we are going to be getting new seats here soon they're actually at home but i've yet to install them but i will very very soon and you guys will be the first to know so i've covered exterior mods interior mods i guess sort of um a couple of exhaust braking the next thing and probably the last thing really that i'm going to cover is what's under the hood So next, under the hood, what's under the hood, you guys would probably ask, is it stock? Why does he have an air duct on his headlight? Is he single turbo? I am not single turbo. Will I be? Yes, I will. This upcoming year, we will finish this build the way I want it to be finished, the way I envision it. And I think that would really make me um, you know, happy with where the car is going to be. And I will basically say that it's pretty much complete. Um, but let's start on this side of the engine bay. I am running a dg auto works coolant and power steering reservoir i will soon be switching up this uh setup to uh separate canisters just for the simple fact um that power steering does heat up a little bit due to the fact that it's right next to the coolant um but no big issues dg is um taking care of me he's going to make me separate canisters and that's going to be taken care of um i am on port injection with 750 cc injectors dual oil catch can setup relocated inlets um i am running your franken f21 turbos i installed them just for impact and i can gladly say that they perform amazing um and you know it's it's it was enough power for for what i needed at the time um and soon we will be chasing a little bit more power i am running a very basic dress up uh, bolt kit nothing crazy nothing expensive i do have some carbon fiber nelson racing uh cabin filters it's a little bit different than your regular uh burger motorsports uh filters you know with the red or black color or whatever um but this was just a little little touch to make it look a little bit cleaner in the engine bay um so i decided why not i bought those honestly before i started this whole build um, just for the simple fact that I got them from a, for a really good price from a friend um, And I was like, you know, I'll eventually use them and you know, yeah, sure enough a year later 
I finally, you know, was able to install them. So that was pretty great. Um, and I think that was that was a good good choice. So without further ado, um, yeah, basically, I'm Edwin, and this is my BMW 135 1M clone. And I am super thankful for you guys uh, for watching. Um, it's been a long journey, but there's still a long way to go to get it to where I want it to be. Uh, many people might say, you know, oh, you know, there's better ways to build it. There's more expensive parts to add to your car. But I think that the way I've been building it, the way it's been performing, the way it looks, I think it's, you know, by far um, my favorite. And I can't complain. If I miss anything, you guys comment below and I'll make sure to talk about it on the next video. Um, but this is my 135 1M clone. And I am super excited to see what else we can get done to this car this upcoming year. Like I said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Take care and happy holidays.